But let's see if my prediction is right. Let's see if the crab goes first. And we have the results for the mob with the crab, least Armadillo, amount of and votes. And the penguin. So many of you voted this year, and so many of you joined our live server event. Imagine if they all got 33%. Votes. But exactly. the mob who received the least amount of those votes is the penguin. What? But don't feel too bad for the penguin. Hmm. Remember our little frog friends didn't win the vote either, but they still managed to up their way into the game. So, okay. we still have two amazing mobs Okay, left. actually, Which one will win? my prediction oh, is wrong. Seriously, I'm asking. Yay. Because they haven't told me yet. Anyone? I was actually really hoping that the crab would get in. Because for some reason it seemed like it was just not there. But hey. I was inspired to become a Yo. creator because at heart, I'm an artist. And the, the crab. It broke the prediction. Was a big deal to me. And the thing is, usually my predictions aren't wrong. Fifteen years ago, back when the but game hey. was in alpha, and I thought it'd be fun to put up a let's play of Minecraft on YouTube. My favorite piece of content is more of a grouping. It's about all of the projects oh we've done for Craft, oh my. which is one of our YouTube channels. Um, my favorite piece of content was a skin I made myself of the Zulu. The Zulu is a community from South Africa. They are well known all over the world for bringing great warriors and great hunters. That war thing possible. don't look too if right, man. That thing looks terrifying. <laughs> okay, let's get into the actual live section, I think. <laughs> What's he into? Here? I'm back at where we started. Interesting. Mm, for plan B. Yo, they just beat the actual person. How much... How much better are they actually going to do what these sets do? That's actually really fun. How how much more effort are are they gonna put into the sets? I love that. Perfect. Man's got reach hacks. Here. Agnes, so oh, what do you think? You did such an amazing job. It's beautiful. <laughs> Cozy. I love it. Oh, hello yeah, everyone. So lovely to see you. What inside Minecraft is this year? We're all in the game. <laughs> Quite the cool. That so Agnes, the, uh, last year you went on another level. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Well, that's what we get for being in a game. <laughs> I love it. it really does look so very nice. So last year, you and the team really it looks very decided to present human, so things I'll in a very honest. different way. <laughs> yes, so at last year's but, Minecraft you know. Live, we decided to only show part of the Trails and Tales update. And then throughout the development process, we could announce more features so like archaeology, the armor trims, <gasps> cherry blossoms. Yes, and the very precious cherry blossoms. And we actually really liked that because it enabled us to be creative and we could collaborate with. 
the community. Yeah, I actually really did like the way they did throughout the fuel. The but yeah, you know, there, there, there was, was a little beautiful. bit of stuff in there. So we want, we want to do the same approach this I guess year, if, they're, if really it's not fully finalized or, you know, so approved, what's the Minecraft game they won't really show well, it on the, on the live section. Yeah, so for example, so, example we have some amazing developers working on tools for us to make our development process more efficient and more joyful. Oh, that's so good. It is. I'm, I'm very, very thankful for that. And I would love to mention is that this week uh, we released to Snapshots, Betas and Preview a, no, a new really cute feature and that is that you can put items inside uh, what? decorated plants. I love that. So you'll revisit some old features. Yes, so we want to have like a good balance between adding new things and I'm also going back and improving now. existing things. That's such a good idea. And we are also working on a new update coming next year. I think we all want you to tell us about that. Oh, well then. <laughs> so, you know, long term, we want to evolve Minecraft for everyone. And in the recent yeah. years, we focused a lot on creativity mm -hmm. and exploration. So for this year, PvP. it's time to focus more on like PvP. combat adventures and PvP. Adventuring. Are they finally My adding the forgotten combat adventurer. update? I know. <laughs> Alright, so anyone and who does know, next year, uh, Jeb turns worked years on. Old. You know, it's really precious. Jesus. Uh, so we were thinking, wouldn't it be I forgot how old I am. 15 years of Minecraft, I came out. I was born when the game first came out, trials. so, you know. Trials. Like a trials. beta, 20, so 2009. We are adding a new My god, it hasn't really been that long. Structure. Called Anyways, trial chambers. For those of you who don't know, Jeb worked on a combat of, update. Like, it was like a mix between 1.8 and 1.9, etc. Combat, and it actually so, looked really so like, cool. When you are inside those chambers, it really feels like you're so, in a place. So, and then he handed off to Ulbroff uh, when they amazing, were working on I other think things. You need to show Come join so me maybe to that's what they're talking and about here with, she said combat so see adventure, new features coming so to the update. maybe, maybe not, who knows, let's wait, Good luck. let's see, and, eee, hi Mosh, I see you found something rather epic here, Matthew, yes, level design. I've been digging around our caves, and I found a trial chamber, Oh, a, 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 a what? <laughs> Lovely. A big part Wait, is that a new block? I saw copper door. We really want to add new adventures for our more combat loud <gasps> What's that? And the chamber certainly includes some exciting challenges. So, hey, what yo, we're looking why is at this? here in the center of everything. Oh, new stone block corridor. as well. That looks pretty cool. Oh wait, is that like a weird? The corridor leads to the mesh block is up there as well, on the top to right. chests. You can find things that'll challenge you, but also things that'll help you. The chambers are new structures that are combined of lots of different <sighs> rooms. They are procedurally Yo. generated, so there is a lot. Okay, of I actually really like, like this. So fun door. Because each time Yo. we play tested, we got doors, like copper doors, heck chamber. yeah. It's exciting each time, <laughs> so there is a lot of replayability. Okay, so we got new stone blocks already, uh, doors, Don't and the me. weird lantern. I okay, really, he pulled really out like the axe. Like the unique visual style we made in these chambers. And the mesh blocks, dude. Really oh, when I can do so many steampunk chambers, stuff. You know you I can do so much. Sarah. Oh, another copper block. Oh, hey there, Yo. We are surrounded by so, so many beautiful new decorative blocks. Yo. Yeah, I think the tough blocks that will be a lot Yay. of fun to build with because of its wait, those are tough. design. Oh, wait, I thought those were... And I thought that was stone, regular the stone blocks. No, yo, kind of we got feel. tough and bricks, the new dude. Bulbs give Chiseled a fun way to tough. Up their yes, bulbs. that's exactly what it is. Some of them in All right, village, so anyone who knows uh, F Whip, he's totally gonna have a. I'm honestly he's going, so excited to see what people build with. He's probably going blocks. off at the wall, dude. He loves this I'm just kind gonna of take stuff. A couple of these grades. Yes, the greats. Oh, I love I it. Think it's so I nice absolutely love can this. Use these new blocks to create exciting I'm gonna make one of these my base, in you know, like a feature, a future like video. This would look so and cool. It's like a stronghold, to build, but like copper and tough. Oh, that's actually so cool. 
I love it. Oh, here is one of the supply chests. Smosh, we're talking about. Alright, let's Hi, see Brandon. what the loot's like. Hey, Agnes. So nice, you're making it bright in here. Yeah, they use copper bulbs when they get oxidized, they get a quite dim, bulb. but with this axe, I can actually scrape off the oxidation and make oh, it brighter again. Cool. I love that that's mechanic really cool. so much that like the more oxidized the copper bulbs are, the more dim the light will be. I think it's super interesting for storytelling. Definitely. Oh, I, I don't even I need to bring this. torches anymore to the trial chambers. I just bring an axe and light my way through. <laughs> just bring an axe. I love it. All right. So didn't even look in the chest. All right. So what does that a tell us? Bono. Time for a combat challenge. Yay. Ooh, it travels. Okay, I see ice what blocks the around the trial spawner, so it's definitely spawning strays. Pick up, pick, pick up a ball. What's our plan? Pick up a ball. Well, I will go ahead and scrape off some oxidation so we can see. I'll just head in straight for the fight. You ready? Yes. That man's got netherite boots. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, oh no, so many strays. I'll take this one. Strays? Oh dear. My worst enemy. What? No joke. Nice one, Agnes. Strays are actually my worst enemy. I love it. Yes! I love this already. Okay. Ah, it got me. The cape is definitely a weird thing. It looks like skulls. Agnes, we're covered in arrows. Uh, uh -huh. so ice Yay! blocks. And oh! Victory! Good job, Brad! Oh, once you. Is it like a weird red So this is a thing, trial or... spawner. It's actually a new variant of spawners which adapts based on the amount of players that join the fight. It actually spawns oh. a limited of mobs compared to a normal spawner. Yeah, we really That's wanted this to be a challenge both in single player and in multiplayer. And this is also why we both got some nice loot. So you can see the smoke coming out of the trial spawner. That actually means that it's on cooldown, so we can come back later and play this all again. Oh. Yeah, so don't break it. We Dungeon Tower. On our realm to Sorry. Play the Dungeon tower. tower. That uh, that looks awesome. All right, I'm up for more challenges. Want to go to another room? Soon, but first I'm gonna go to the village. But you go ahead. Well, other sides, other side popping up. Oh hi! Eu estou a caminho da minha maior aventura. Wow! Good luck. Wait, what that guy say? Wait, what that guy say? He was copper roots. Interesting. Babu Agnes, que es una mascotita muy kawaii. Maybe. Oh, an axolotl. Of course, I want it. Thank you. So, is this like more to the village or what? I doubt <gasps> it. Yeah, I don't think so. I think. Oh, hey, cat. That's so pink and so cute. I but think it's just, you know, like decorative now. That's it's, you know, people. Yeah, I think so. Okay, never mind. Cory, Oscar. I thought for a second. Oh, hey. Are they actually, you know, doing some stuff? No, no, it's just. It's just Hi. there. It seems like you placed a crafter here. Uh, what is that? Yes, with a crafter, a crafter. you can automate crafting with redstone. <laughs> it's pretty similar to a crafting table, My except <laughs> Guys, it's literally just... You can use a redstone it's like the create mod all over again. Sorry for yelling into the mic, but it's like create mod. With them. Right? And let's place a button here. And I'll press the button. Oh, wait, so... And again. Yay, lots of hanging signs. So they stay they stay in the crafter. Does that mean you could put like a bunch of items in there and then just you know like store some items in there or something like that? That'd oh, be hi! Cool. <gasps> I hope so too. Uh does that mean they're gonna grow taller or Wow, what? you've been busy! Yes, I've been building an automated sword crafter, but instead of pressing a button, it just keeps on crafting infinitely. We used to huh. new toggleable slots to make sure that the hoppers place items where we want them. Say what? Oh, that's pretty cool. The crafter is, is so precious because you can both do these like really advanced captions, but it's also very welcome. That's actually so really we cool. Hope that it will be delightful to use both for like redstone beginners. Oh, I can already see people redstone like uh, I can already see Etho Tango uh, X. Before you head out, I can already see the, 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 the oh, uh, dog you. as well. Yeah, that's horse. perfect. We're about to head down to the trial chambers. I can see I can see everyone. 
Oh, I can already see it. I can definitely see uh, maybe Tango. Oh, hey. Oh, the, uh, yeah. The auto now armor thing. That, that came out a while ago. I actually knew how to make one of those. So that's cool. It's pretty simple it's to make it. It, get, it. it only gets a little Ready harder to fight to make the breeze? it. And sorry, oh, I'm going yes. off on the breeze. I'll let them take care of that. Well, that's rude. Oh, what is the that? The is a playful, hostile mob that jumps around and uses wind to provide a combat encounter unlike... It looks like a one-handed wither. I just got hit by the wind charge. A burst of energy from the breeze. The wind charge doesn't deal any damage when it bursts and blows things away. But it does deal damage when it collides directly with something. Uh-huh. So it's like a blaze almost, except fine. wind? Oh, the wind burst doesn't only knock things back. It also interacts with certain blocks. Yeah, like buttons and trapdoors. Ooh. The room becomes part of the fight. We hope you enjoy these playful combat encounters with the breeze when you stumble across them in the new trial chambers. It's grumpy Dude. and cute, but also really rude. I'm I am loving now. this. This looks like something out of, uh, like, better Minecraft or something. Oh, hey, yeah. Whoa! Maybe. <laughs> Nope, not That looks like a really tough fight. It was. What? I just loved seeing all She's of you play together on the realm and like later oh, no. get to meet more of the development team. It was so fun. That's, that's actually like, really, really cool. I like that little segment. That of course it's that's really cool. Player, but we have also put a lot all of right. effort in ensuring it's very fun in multiplayer. Too. I don't get excited about games much, but whenever I see something like that. It, and, the trial I don't know. The that right there is just it's the right blown. amount of sugar to my yes, tea. Like, I love the unique visual cheaper. style we created with like the new decorative blocks. And also, joke, we just showed really. like a few of the rooms. So I'm really looking forward to like when Ooh. all of you get to explore the trial chambers and find Yeah, and all we didn't see what was in the chest either. There's a room that we I didn't see so what, what was in the chest I unless I missed it. To, like finally get to see it. <laughs> when i saw the trial spawner i don't it took me back like the nostalgia of the first time i found a spawner it, it's so cool to see that in a completely new way well that's so lovely too yeah, so it's, it's actually that's really actually because you know with the that thing is anniversary odd, coming really. up next year i like it in an odd so way that, like, the trial spawner thing it's with the update the trial chambers they are actually in no i can definitely see some like the map response. creators and such and what do you making like a battle tower type thing i can't even imagine like, so I yeah, very, I can totally see to it. like, like uh, map for, makers and everything like the more basic using those. To the super complex it's gonna look one so and everything cool. in between. And I also think it's really nice with the crafter because it ties so well to the more like tinkery side of this update. It really gives you a chance to like mess yeah. around with the features feel, that you all added. It really added feels anyway. like they're adding in the create mod, and which I've messed around in the create mod. Forget. It's definitely something. A very it's definitely new something. Mob, I will say that. Breeze. Yes, this little whirlwind with the most like epic eyebrows ever. However, yeah, don't let it bad. fool you. The eyebrows like, are something. Fight it. <laughs> Those eyebrows so, like, are eccentric, like, really, dude. What I really, really love with fighting the breeze is that since it um, activates contraptions in the room, like a dispensing, dispenser shooting arrows, for example, it means that it's not all so, the breeze. So, thing I wonder is if the crab the well, or which is like, the it's armadillo, a if the armadillo wins, the boat, and, uh, like, does that mean we will get new beautiful. variants of wolf? And I really like that. It is play and play with, the, uh, cat, I really with the cat, with the cat achievement, where you get the all the variants, like, will we get a wolf we play it? Well, actually, achievement? Quite That'd be pretty cool. So the features we've shown I actually really hope the arm will win. And personally, I don't use dogs that much, but you know, weeks. just saying. And then, just like last year, we will announce some more features throughout the uh, development process. That's amazing. Ooh. We need to head that's to the good. cherry grove. Yes, I think we should go through what? Nether for some fast traveling. Perfect idea. <laughs> eh. huh. The mob vote. The with the dancing goat. Here. They've given me this fancy right, envelope so with the name of the winning mob of this my, year's Is my mob prediction mob. completely wrong? I have to say, this and the year we've crab been wins. amazed by the massive participation in the mob vote. I kind of hope the armadillo wins, so I'm going to be honest. Votes. The savannah biome needs something, dude. The savannah biome needs something. Okay, so I can't wait to see who it is. Let's get right to it, because no one wants to wait for these kinds of things. Which... 
reminds me of a story. It all started oh, no. back when I was just a young boy. Oh, sorry. So unprofessional. Thank God. Tiny Gens. Hey, I'm in the middle of Minecraft Live. No, I, I know. I'm just telling this super relevant story. It sets the scene. No, I understand. Okay. I don't want to keep... Okay, got it. Sorry, um, wrong number. Tiny Yen so, saved the day. the winning mob. Yes, soon to join Minecraft, the winning Yo. mob for the 2023 Minecraft Live mob vote is... The Crab. Armadillo! Oh, yay. All right, so now I have to hope that we get more dog variants, right? I'm so excited I mean, people to have been wanting dog armor and dog variants it's for ages. It's hard to believe, ages, but next so. year is the 15th anniversary of Minecraft. It's yeah, just keep reminding me of how old I am. And surprises. We'll celebrate all Minecraft, of you in the community as we journey 15. through the past, present, and look to the future of Minecraft. There are lots of exciting things to look forward to in 2024. For years, we've loved yeah, seeing a lot the of Minecraft shows community create well. parodies of their favorite. A lot of different music. shows, a lot of different it's things to do been on YouTube, a, wish of ours a lot of different Minecraft things, a lot of different gaming things. Song and turn it into so, yeah. a Minecraft parody. That's a lot to, Today, lot to look that forward wish to. wish comes true. I'm excited to welcome a Minecraft player who also happens to be an incredible musician. Alec Benjamin. This night is cool, got my pickaxe in my hand as I walk away. It's not the guy who sings blue in my boy in the bubble. Steal it. In the dark, the creepers pray, don't pull me up, pull me out, let me get a waste. I wish was a man with dignity and grace. Yeah, I'm walking it, this cave. All right, so I only know boy in the bubble so for, for sure, but this is let me down slowly, so. Down slowly, a little sympathy out you can show me. If you wanna go, then not be so lonely. If you even, baby, let me down slowly. Digging down, down, digging down, down, digging down, digging down, down, digging down, down, digging down. Is this a Minecraft parody? Oh, Minecraft parody, let's go. I can't stop myself from falling in love. And I can't stop myself from falling in lava. <sighs> Does this mean that the copyright strike is next? <laughs> is this where I get my first copyright strike? Who knows? <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm only joking. They paired his team posing. Sorry for staying a lot during the song. It's actually really good. If you even why is the, why is the pair T posing, dude? Why is the pair T posing? Why is it doing that? That was amazing, Alec! Thank you. <laughs> Minecraft wouldn't be what it is today without all of you. From all of us in Mojang Studios, thank you and bye! Oh, hey. Bye bye. It's finally out of the nether. Nice. So, what, 26 minutes of this, right? Yeah. My final thoughts, so far the update looks great. That is for sure. So far, the, uh, the trial, the trial structures, the trial chamber, that's what it's called. I forgot what it was for a second. The trial chambers absolutely look astonishing. I love the, uh, I love the new, uh, Com copper, copper blocks. I forgot what it was called, and the tough block. It looks absolutely amazing, and I can't wait. This is very good. So I guess thanks for watching. Thanks for watching with me. Although my computer blue screen through half of it, we got to the important parts. <laughs> we got to the parts I was here for. So yeah, without further ado, I hope you you look forward to all of this because I know I sure am. And maybe, you know, I'll even be able to post it eventually if I can optimize my computer further. But that might that might need a lot of time. As far as I know, it needs some time. But hey, I enjoyed this. You probably enjoyed this. And let's hope for a much better 2024. Because 2023 has been, you know, pretty decent already. But let's be honest, man, the two years before that... <laughs>
Uh, yeah, not too good, especially 2022. Rest in peace to the great to the great royals. And yeah, I bid you all the fondest of views.